How are we doing, everybody? Hola. Welcome to another episode of Getting Jiggly With It. I'm Will. I'm Audrey. And today we're playing Empires of the North, Imperial Settlers, Egyptian Kings. Or I guess I should say we're playing it again. Mm -hmm. So we did play this the other day, um, last Tuesday actually, right? I think it was last Tuesday. But unfortunately something happened and the uh, OBS Streamlabs started being goofy and then that didn't record and then it didn't save to the hard drive properly. But all of that said, it means we get to play it again. Uh, which is always a good thing. Uh, so for those of you that have not seen how these decks work, so the two new decks are, uh, there we go, there's the first one, uh, Hatshepsut. Uh, Hatshepsut is what Audrey is playing. Hatshepsut. Hat uh, we're going to just say Hat. Hat plays by putting soil underneath of her um, plantations or harvest areas, right? So instead of discarding cards when she goes through the buying phase, any card that she doesn't buy, she'll place one of these trees underneath of her existing harvest, like so. And then during her turn, she'll have cards that will allow her to assign her workers, including the ninja, to the actual harvest area. This means that if she were to choose this harvest action, then she'll be able to not only get the two fish, but you'll also get, in this case, wood. There's another one that allows her to get fruit, and she can have as many as she wants down underneath. There are also cards that give her victory points for discarding the once they're underneath, uh, but the resources are probably more important. Uh, the, the key to playing this deck, to playing Hat, is to get a lot of population because you need to buy cards. And you basically have to know that you're gonna buy the cards so you'll have the meeples to assign because you have a card in your hand that says assign a meeple. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a card in your hand that says assign a meeple, it might not be as necessary to buy those cards. And you just kind of put them all as a discard and put them all underneath of the different places. Um, there is a second type of card that will also have, I don't know if we lucked out, uh, we did luck out, uh, that will also have an ability to sign a meeple uh, or a worker, and it's these little obelisk type cards. And then basically, if you have an assigned meeple in this or assigned worker, then you also get that added benefit of the card. Um, so that's really the difference in her deck, or, or a simplistic overview of how her deck works. Of course, you'll see how it works when Abadi does her gameplay, which is this gameplay. <laughs> and then for me, I have, and I, I forgot his name as well, M. Humtep. So I have. You have Hap Ship Sut, and I have Am Hum, Am Him Am Am Hotel, which is actually a more known name to me, and I still can't say it right. Uh, but with Amen, we're going to call him Amen. <laughs> with Amen, uh, he basically has an upkeep on all of his cards. 
So anything that I build, I also need to be able to then sustain it by assigning the specific resources to his card. The second thing that his deck has as an ability is a lot of his cards have two abilities. You can either build with his ability or you can use this card for the secondary uh, power up or boost. I think it's called boost. I'm probably wrong again. Power, I'm just gonna call it the superpower. So I will be able to use Amin's superpower uh, on a construction action to gain these resources. And that's very important because his basic land top uh, harvest locations, basic locations, don't have any type of wood. And a lot of his cards rely on wood from last time when I played it. Um, otherwise, the only other thing that he has that is different than some of the others is he does have the ability to get an extra clan marker. Uh, so we have the white clan marker. And he has cards that play off of having your marker on different locations uh, on the little uh, action circle there. And then he also has the third ship, similar to the one clan in the base box. It was the one I played last night. Again, bad with names. Can't tell you what that was. Uh, but he also has a third ship and an ability to bring that third ship out. I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the basic overview. If you want more in-depth of what each card uh, that are in, uh, we do have an unboxing video where we went through each of the cards in the expansion. But with that said, it is time to roll. The 20 sided die. The extra, or life. extra oh, life. The 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 ex the 20 sided die of extra lifeness. <laughs> <laughs> so the D20, our extra life D20. So for those of you that have seen our channel know that we support extra life charities and Children's Miracle Network. Uh, we do it with every single broadcast and non-broadcast, because we do post it on our social medias as well. Uh, children are in need of every dollar they can get. Uh, for Children's Miracle Network to help the sick and injured kids. So if you can make a donation, we always have a link down below in our uh, show notes or comments or details or I don't know what they call those things. The, the thing down below the in box. the YouTubes, in the box. Uh, and if you can't do that, just a simple share on our Facebook page or on our Twitter feed. Uh, it helps out a lot because it gets the word out and may, raises the awareness for the niños. And with that said, this is how we choose who to go first. And evens or odds? Odds. And it is evens. That means I get to go first. I never, I never, I'm never lucky with this die. No? Well, sometimes you've gotten to go first. All right, so we draw our first five. So again, I get to choose which three I want to keep. Avati gets to choose which three she wants to keep and then puts the rest underneath of her current harvest locations, her basic locations. I like that one. Ooh, rah, 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 rah. <laughs> I like that one too. Uh, I like that one too, because at the end of the game that comes in handy. Uh, I don't necessarily need that right now. Um, that's a good one at the end of the game too. I think between these two though, I think I like I like this one because that allows me to do something from the general supply. Okay. So I have my tres. And then Adri has started to populate her uh, little village there. And then I am going to take un poquito de bebe de agua. <laughs> Too many days. Un poquito de agua. You would say un poquito. I'm going to do the bebe de agua. Bebe is a water baby. A water baby? Ooh, uh-oh. You guys didn't see water end up in my cards. There's probably some, there's probably some people out there that are probably would, would like, that's why you save cards. No, these cards go bad. I'll just buy another one. <laughs> buy another exchange pack. All right, so what do I want to do on my turn? So I need to build something. What do I want to build first? Um... Okay, so actually, no, 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 Oh, that's, that's a good one, though. All right, so I'm going to build, I'm going to build the King of Gods with me stone. So that gives me an action, assign one resource, or spend one meeple to gain an axe. That's what I get. Um... 
I'm going to build the Pharaoh Pharaoh's abundance. Pharaoh's abundance, which is dos sheep. I don't know how to say how sheep in Spanish. Oveja. Orejas. Ovejas. Ovejas. Just one letter that is different. So sheep are like ears. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to spend a meeple to assign a resource to this so I don't lose it during the cleanup phase. We, I forgot. We, we do that. We, we no. draw. Yeah, we draw on our next turn. And we start with our five. Or we start with our, our initial three that we didn't have to pay for, and then you got to pay for them after. If you want to harvest to play, I go harvest here. Yeah, so you harvest. Yeah, do your harvest action. And then which one do you want to harvest? Let me do the. So is this plus the same one, or I can choose which one you want? I forgot that from the last time. Like if I put it here, I would it's, get it's three the same. fish. Yeah, it's three fish. So it adds one more of whatever one you put it on. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. But what are you harvesting? Oh, pescados. Three fish. You get the extras. Audrey likes the extras. <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm going to construct. I'm going to do the construct action to build this. And then I can do my um, Horus Temple Guards, which during the construct, I get to assign one resource from the general supply. So it's freebie. You like Exodus? I like Pleasy. I'm kind of out of cards. I guess I'm not going to be playing cards anymore. Okay, I am going to spend my rocks to build the minions of next bear. I'm going to spend a worker to get an axe. Back to you. Well, no, you still have your um, action up there. I'm going to... Oh, none of your. You can't do any of the actions on the cards? Yeah, yeah, spend a fish to gain. Fish to gain one victory point for each pumpkin with an assigned nipple. Oh, you don't I have don't any have dogs. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The question is whether or not you're going to put two fish on there to get the treasure items. I mean, you got you got those. You you got enough. You're going to have the most fish. I would I would go after the treasure items. Cause remember, it gives you. Well, well, yeah, I can't can't look at them, but they're going to give you one of these. So you're either going to be able to. <gasps> oh. Uh, that, this is in Polish, so I, I don't know what that <laughs> says. But yeah, it's either going to let you. Polish? Yeah, because um, Portal Games is a Polish company. There's a lot, actually, a lot of game companies in Poland now. <laughs> Very Poland. We don't have to go. We we'll have to go to Poland. Yes. Um, so yeah, so this allows you to. All right, so it could be a harvest, harvest, and you gain an axe. It could be a populate, populate, and you gain a sheep and fish. It could be an explore, explore, and you gain a apple, a rock in a stick or it can be a construct construct and you get to gain a gold the only one right now that wouldn't be very advantageous for you to get is the construct construct because you have no cards to <laughs> to construct right now so not sale no yeah, sale so. yeah but you need two fish if you want to go to treasure islands unless you don't want to go to treasure islands this time you just want to get one of these instead let me start with those first. okay you're going to have plenty of fish, so I don't think that's a problem for you. Okay, so... Good old sump pump for you guys. That, you know, is a beautiful, beautiful sound. Come on, you can stop now, sump pump. We, lo we love you too. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on, I did this action, didn't I? I forgot to... Oh, I? oh my god. Um, so I don't need to assign a resource, but I'm going to go ahead and spend one to harvest. And I'm going to harvest my rocks. That was that one. Okay, thank you. Um, I can. I don't have tomatoes. Uh, are they tomatoes or apples? I've, I've never really determined. I, to me, I think they're manzanas. I think they are tomatoes. Tomato. Look at them. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess, yeah, they kind of have that little the the shine the, the, the little the, the gushy part, uh -huh. like the, the little indention lines. 
Um, so there's nothing else you can do. So I just basically keep going until I can't do anything. Mm -hmm. um, oh, actually, hang on. I'm sorry. I did that too. I keep forgetting to flip my actions. That's fine. I'm not cheating. I, I'm, I'm catching them. Just a little bit. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and sail as well. Um, spend one to gain one. Well, that, that's a like. I like that one. That's that one with like gold where you can just keep getting more and more gold. I'm going to spend one resource to gain. Okay, so I can trade resources. Each time you explore, gain one rock. I am going to do. I am going to take my axe with me. All right. Um. Do I want to apply? Do I want to apply or not? Apple or not to apple? Oh, to tomate or no tomate? Estas question. Es question. 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 Question is question. Did he say question? Es. Como se dice question? Question. Oh, question, question. Sí. No, pregunta, pregunta. Pregunta, okay. I thought you, but it's question as well. Uh, well, because it, you, you guys say to be or not to be, that is, you just say it in English. Yeah, but like a matter, matter, question. Since here, I can populate, harvest, harvest, or explore. I think I will spend one, uh, and I want to explore, just so I can draw a card and have an extra card for the next turn, so... Flips over to the X on the Explorer. Um, and actually, can I use this? That actually would be a better question. No, because I already did that, so it would end up going away. So that would not be a good idea. However, if I want this, spend the same resource to gain. Yeah, this is the one I want because this is how I'm going to get victory points at the end. Okay, so I can't do anything else. Well, I pass, so we go to the sailing phase. So you have one fish, so you can either pillage to get fish, fish, and tomate. Or you can pillage to get tomate, tomate, and two victory points. Oh, this one's one victory point. I think I'm going to do tomate, tomate, victory points, victory All right. points. You get two tomates. And you are a Two victory points. And then I am going to pillage this one because I like that I get to trade resources so I put that in there and I get one gold all right and this all right so it's clean up phase so boats come back our clan markers come back our islands vanish off the face of the planet I don't know why they vanish off the face of the planet because it's a mystical world right with, with vanishing Vanishing Islands. Mm -hmm. right. So I didn't get any victory points for that one because I conquered instead. All right. Oh, so I actually the first player token should have been with me because I went first. So now the first player token goes to you. Put the actual left tile here. All right. So you get to go first. So we draw four. You get to draw five because you have that because feature now. Yep. Oh, I forgot to bring my workers back. I left them, I left them out, out in the fields doing work. Alright, do I want to spend everything? Do I not want to spend everything? I like that. I think I didn't pay, I didn't pay my workers before. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have not used them, well, but I didn't pay. Oh, you didn't pay? Well, that's fine. <laughs> you didn't have to bring them back. I think I'm going to do all four. It might be risky, but I'm going to do all four, which means I'm left with... Ooh, no, no, I might not be able to... Hang on. Mm. Yeah, this is no big deal. This gives me X bus. Those are action cards. So I only need to assign two. Yeah. From yeah, I'm gonna do four. I'm good. I forgot to ready all me, all me, all me places. All right. 
So I add the other ones, just one each. Yeah, you can only add, if I remember, it was you could only do one of each. Um, da, 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 da. If you harvest from field, nope, that's not it. Um, find workers. Yeah, I think it was one of each. During the lookout phase, you can attach unchosen cards beneath you. You never may place more than one during the lookout phase. Yeah. You can only do one. So, so if you had four, you'd have to discard one or just one on each. Um, oh, forget your buy. How many you were buying? I what? bought dos. Okay. All right, so you go first. I go first. See, that's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Goofball. I'm going to. Construct. Build one for free. Yep. You build your genie. I don't like the look of a genie. A genie sounds like it grants wishes. Hmm. So... Each, each time you populate, gain... Oh. Okay. Build, hang on, building bonus. You may assign one spent worker. But I'm just no, building. Correct. But that's your bonus for building it. So you get to assign your your meat, your worker now. Oh, no? Mm-hmm. And it's assigned. It doesn't have to be... It can be anywhere. You can either assign it to that. You may you, assign one to spend. Spend. Yeah. So you can assign it to this one if you want to get that bonus, or you can assign it to one of these if you want to harvest one of those later. And then once you're, once the workers are placed, she can only move them if a card tells her to move them or take them back, right? All right, so that was your action. So... Yeah, that was your action. Now it's me, Turnal. Si, si, si. You can't take all the turns. Oh, I tried. <laughs> all right, I'm going to do a construct action as well. So that's going to allow me to... Build this, and then because I'm constructing, I get to play this, which gives me tres. Piedras. Piedras. Sí, piedras. All right, so back to you. Uh, so I can can I construct again? If you wanted to, although that's not a construction card in your hand. This is the construct. That's not a... Oh, construct to play that. Oh, you could have played that on your last turn. You should have played that on your last turn at the same time. Oh. No, that's fine. You, you, would, you would have played it on that turn. So what it, it's, it's an action. It's not a permanent. I don't think oh, it's a permanent, so is it? Moment. So yeah, it's instant. You can discard up to three... Um, soil. Soil. To, to gain... gain one okay. victory oh. point for each. No, no, it's discard up to three. Oh, three of this or up to three of that to gain one for each. Additionally, you may move a meeple. So if you wanted to do this, it looks like you can't do both. So it doesn't look like you can discard both the fruit and the wood. It's three of fruit or three of wood. But then it does not say that from one only. No. So it means I could just, I could just... Yeah, correct. Yes. You would be able to get rid of all three fruit off of the um, three different ones. Yeah, I think one of your other cards says from one location, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So that gives you three. One, it gives two, me three victory points. Yep. One victory point for each. And you can move a meeple, but you just put that meeple there, so I'm thinking you do. All right. So it's still your turn, because this you would have played on the previous turn. That, that, that gets to start. Okay. So... I am going to populate. So... Alright, so populate. So you get another worker and one victory point. Mm -hmm. And then I... No, I assigned this one. Did I no, assign? that was your building action. So y when you populated... No, that's only when you build. So when you populated, you just oh, get the just, extra. Okay. You get a, a worker plus you get to do that. All right, so I'm going to do this to assign a sheep. I need some more sheep. All right, back to you. Um, so I spent one fish to gain 
one victory point for each pumpkin with an assigned nipple. No, you know what I mean? Yeah, you didn't you didn't put your you didn't put your assigned worker on the uh, pumpkins. So you do have your like, you do have your, your tomates. If you want to do a second action up on the wheel. Like sailing. Sail away. Sail away. <laughs> Okay, I'll sail. Wait a minute, where was that one at? This one oh, that was, was the one on Harvest. Okay, oh, it was on Popular. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're good. See, oh, see, is see. it the first one I used? No, no, no. It doesn't no, matter. Either one. Yeah, they, they just can only go one over to the left or right. All right, so you're going to sail. Um, Treasure oh. Island, oh, Far Off Island. Compass Cargo. Just the one? Did you want to pick up these items? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so just one. All right, so I'm going to, um, what do I need? I'm going to sail as well. That gets put one here. And then I get to play this, sail to play. Instant, choose a nearby island on the expedition board. Spend the resources indicated by its pillage space to gain two victory points. Then discard the island in Rio to reveal a new island. So I can do two. If I spend two rocks to get two victory points, one, two, and I discard this, get us a new island. Right. It's your turn again. I don't think you can do anything. No more. Unless you want to take another action on the wheel. That is your choice, you don't have to. Because I was thinking that I discarded my fruit as hard boy. My, my trees with fruit. I shouldn't okay. have. I mean, I also need wood to buy things, to spend things, but... Was... Oh, this isn't gonna work. This isn't doing what I wanted to do. I'm gonna hang on to this. I was... I don't have another way to... I can't sail twice. That doesn't work. I, no, I still can't. I was thinking about flip that one over. Okay, so you'll pass. All right, so I'm going to spend a rock to build, and then I'm going to. Um, oh, I forgot to spend my worker earlier. Lo siento, worker. Uh, and then I'm going to use this action to a. Ooh, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. It. Uh, I want to I'm going to spend my apple to harvest. Doesn't matter. You both are the same. Uh, I'm going to harvest my sheep. And now I'm going to use the action to assign a sheep. Um, spend action to. I don't have any more meeples. Uh, I don't have any more apples. And I can't do that because I don't need to assign anything else. I don't want to trade anything else. And I don't want to play that right now. All right, so that is it for me. So now I pass. So now we go to the sailing phase. All right, so which island did you want to pillage? Sheep, sheep, axe, victory points, or wood, wood, tomate, victory points? Wood, wood, tomate, victory points. Two woods. One tomate and a victory point. Add a new one. And here is your shit back. And then I am going to. I'm going to pillage. Oh, I want to pillage. I really don't need rocks because I got this great harvest thing. So I think I'm going to do that one because I usually don't get fish. So I'm going to do fish. A tomate and our meat. All right, so clean up, clean up, clean up, everybody. One, two, one, two. All right, and then we get all of our workers back, and we turn all of our turn our city back upright because we don't want our city to be sideways. I never, I ne you never tap your. <laughs> That's fine. All right, so draw four. One, two, three, four. Five. Can I still do five? Oh, yeah, see, you still have your feature, right? Yeah, as long as you got that feature, you get to do five. Um, mm, 
like any of these cards. I don't, know, <laughs> I don't know which one I want to keep. This is good for, like, most of these are, like, good for me later in the game when I get my third action pawn or when I get my other boat and I don't have that. All right, I think I want this one because it's free to build. Free to build is always good for me. Um, oh, yeah, I do need that one. I think I want that for later. I'm going to get rid of that. I think I'm going to do three. Three workers. Saddle ninjas. Okay. Three. And then you planted your trees. And I planted my trees. Okay. So you get to go first. Mm, so I am going to... Uh, what game is this? Uh, this is Empires of the North, and we're playing the Egyptian Kings expansion. Very fun game. We've we've played the base core box once with two of the factions, two of the easy factions, and then we played this once before, but that video didn't record correctly. So we're doing it again, so you know we have a video. Um, and also nobody got to watch the live stream because the live stream screwed up. So, so. But yeah, so it's the Egyptian Kings. I'm going to harvest sheep. I'm going to harvest sheep. I can only get these resources if I if have only If you them. have an assigned, yep. Otherwise you just get the regular harvest. And then you have to discard the tree too, so it's kind of like you're harvesting the tree so the tree's gone. I guess instead of just like picking the, the fruit out of the tree, they just chop the whole tree down. Yes. <laughs> how, do you get the, how do we get the fruit out, Ma? Just chop it down. <laughs> just chop it down. Or slightly crooked there. All right. Um. All right. So this is free to build. So I'm going to build this. It's denial, uh, which allows me to spend a um, rock to explore, or I can spend a stick to explore and draw. So I can draw two cards instead of one, basically. Although I do need some rocks. Alright. Yeah? Yeah, so you only get to do one action. That's that's where I like I think once like you play this game more like and you and you really like understand the mechanics of the game, I think it's probably just like in a two player game, it's probably like just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, like real quick actions. Because you usually know what you're gonna do beforehand, but we have a habit of not looking at what we want to do in the next turn. All right, so I do want to harvest. Uh, I'm going to harvest the rocks, which gives me three stone. Tres piedras. Uno, dos, tres. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not cheating. Mm -hmm. I would never cheat you. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I forgot. Since I harvested, I get to play this. Oh, no, I don't want to do that yet. Come this on. one is a I have no boats. That would get me zero points. <laughs> What's that? This one is... That's sleeping. a feature. I don't know why it's sleeping. Turn that back normal. Because oh, uh, he because I used, used no. That's it. a feature. It just it's just always there. So it is just the action. So feature during the draw an additional card. How do I put this? No, feature here? during the lookout phase. Draw one additional card and one more. And move one meat blade. Oh, and move a meat blade. Yeah. So during the lookout, you could have moved a person if you wanted to, a worker. Oh, when okay, you did your building so... bonus, we forgot to give you your axe. Lo siento. When you built that one, there was a bonus for building it. Oh. So, I don't know if you wanted to pillage something earlier or not, but I get to pillage it's instead. Okay. It's okay. And so now I am going to populate. So you populate, which gets you one meeple plus one victory, victory point. point. 
Um, so this is a CD? Which one? Feature. No. That's just a, it happens when you populate. It's just a part of your, part of your set. All right. Um, so I'm going to, oh, I'm going to do. Um, just going to do my action first. I'm going to do my action, spend one to assign so I don't lose my building. Okay. Uh, I'm going to. Okay, so it says this action. See, are we building? Are we building actions? Whatever you want to do. Yeah, it's your turn. So spend one person and one. Spend one person and one sheep and to draw two, two cards. cards and attach them to two different harvest spots. Uh, if a meeple is assigned, draw. Oh, so if you had a meeple up there, then you'd get to do one more. And I have no assigned meeples. You have no assigned meeples. Who's your favorite Pokemon? Uh, Eevee and the Eeveelutions. And Aburi is prone to all of the bunnies. All <laughs> the bunny Pokemon. Todos bunnies Pokemon. Okay. Alright. Yep. Alright, so. I don't, I don't want to build this or not. Uh, let me. I don't want to build that yet. So I'm going to explore, um, which allows me to draw a card. And by doing that, I get to play this card, which on explore, I gain my other boat. Tres boats now. And did that card I drew do no, it's the same card I've already got. And that one doesn't do me any good until I get that. There's a there's one of the cards in my city that allows me to sail and I don't I don't have it right now. That doesn't do any good. I need my assign. Well, Jigglypuff can't defeat anybody. He just puts them all to sleep. That means you win the battle if your opponent doesn't fight back, right? <laughs> mm. I don't have any rocks to build. I don't have rocks to build this, but... You have a stick to build that. Hmm? Well, remember, each, each location is worth a point, so it's, yeah, even need... if you can't use it right now. I need right. the assignment, the assignment my card. Alright. Um, so I'm going to do this action and I'm going to spend my worker to get me an axe. Back to you. Um Tomates, don't forget you have tomates. I'll sail. And one tomate to sail. Okay. Uh, are you going to go near or are you going to go far? So that's near oh, and that's yeah. far. So tomate, tomate, sheep, sheep, wood, wood, tomate, gold, wood, stone. I'm going to do tomate, tomate, star. Okay, so you're going to stay, so you don't need to spend a fish. Mm -mm. All right, so I'm going to... Uh, they tried to... Uh, what is it? Freddy could win. I don't know who Freddy is. Um. So I'm going to. What do, I needed to do it in a particular order. What were we doing? These are harvests. So I don't do these yet. I don't want to build this yet. Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to sail. So my har my harvest into a sail. I'm going to sail. Wait, did I? I how did I use this one before? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, it's popular. Um, and then spend one gold to gain two. Um, Monster Island, spend one resource to retrieve one meeple. Ooh, that's a good one too. This one can really add up because of the gold bonus. This one, on the other hand, gets me wood. Well, no, it wouldn't give me wood. It gives me fish, other fish. 
Uh, I think I am going to raid though. I do think I'm going to raid. All right, so back to you. Damn. Or pass. Oh, I got you. Pass, pass. Um, and I don't want to build this this turn. Spend three of the same resource I don't have. Assign one. Spend one, I don't have that. I don't need to do that right now. Uh, spend one resource to get one resource. Mm. Yeah, I think I might do that. I'm going to spend my sheep to get a rock. That's this one. And then I'm going to spend three of the same resource to gain three victory points. One, two, three. All right, and that is all I want to do, I think. Yeah, so that is it for me. So sailing phase. So which island did you want to pillage? Uh, I want the first one. So you get two tomate and a victory point. And then I am going to pillage this one. Yeah, I'm going to pillage that one. So I get one gold for that. All right, so clean up phase. We lost, oh, we lost our extra life die. There we go. We can't lose our die. I die of extra lifeness. Mm. Um. Alright. Uh, get my workers back. Turn my city back upright because there was a, I guess, an earthquake or something and all my, all my buildings got turned sideways. What is it called for when it is sand? Oh, um, quicksand. Well, sandstorm. Sandstorm? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like in the, the Mummy movie? Oh, we didn't watch the Mummy movies, did we? No, but we watched one in... We watched one. Alright, so you draw your five. Uh, the Night at the Museum? No. no. National Treasure. No, no before or not Before or not. A long time ago. I don't Superman? Know. Superman? Was there a or Batman? 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 He's sand yeah. Oh, when he when it when it was the fake vision of the it's future. Superman. It was Superman. Yes, when he lost his dad there, I think. In... Oh, you mean no? That's not a sandstorm. That's a that's a tornado. Tornado. Yeah, that was a tornado. Oh, okay. tornado. All right. Um, spin one to harvest one. Spin one to explore. Why can't I get the cards? I I keep getting the same cards. All right, I'm gonna keep that one. This one's free to build, so I'd rather keep that one. Maybe those two, so I'm only spending two this time. All right. Uh, Hunter's going to lurk, but uh, GLHF, good luck, have fun. Aha, I figured it out, game direction. Appreciate you lurking, man. My voice is very soothing, so I, I try to tell people, you know, if you just want to have a way to fall asleep, you know, in the evening, just come out and watch our streams. I have a very soothing voice. <laughs> I associate that to when, when we were, when I was a trainer and everybody would fall asleep in my class. <laughs> See? I'm amazed you still have only gotten that one that lets you... Well, now, now though, you can move your meeple, because remember, you also get to do that. Um, as your, what was it? Uh, this one. Yeah, and you get to move one. So yeah, if you wanted to, you could move one now if you know that you're going to do a harvest action this turn. But, uh, okay, I move it in my action phase. Well, no, you move it now at the beginning. So you can move that guy to one of those other ones if you think you're going to harvest one of those two this phase. And then, well, you kind of want to look what you'd get to. So this gives you two wood, one tomate. They give you two tomates and a wood. So yeah, that's actually something nice now. Because last game you didn't get that card where you could just move them around every turn. So by having that card, you can basically just keep moving it to whichever one has three. Oh, did you spend your new place? Are you cheating? 
Or did reach. I just did I attach just one? You attach two. Two? Yeah. Why do I have four? Because you draw five. Plus you had one last turn that you didn't spend. Oh, uh, so, uh, so I'm going to play three. Four. Three. Yeah. All right. Um, so it's, I'm first, right? Did I move the did did I move the marker? Who went first last time? You or you? You were last. I was last. Okay. So. All right. So I go first. Um. So this is free to build, so I'm gonna go ahead and build it because it's free to build. I'm going to harvest to play. Okay. Making sure I read that right, that I was supposed to gain the boat, because I thought I screwed up and <laughs> and took the boat for free. Harvest to play. Harvest I'm going to get a harvest play. first. Let's see. So what are you harvesting? So I gain boats from one pumpkin. Yep, plus trees if you do the one with the meeple on it. Uh-huh. So if you do that, you get, you're going to do that one? Two. So two, two... Okay. And a wood. Now you do lose your trees. Okay. Remember, they don't know how they don't know how to properly harvest. They just chop the whole tree down. <laughs> See. They're like, oh, but you can chop the whole tree down. And. And then what's that? It harvest says assign plant. one spent meeple to any pumpkin. All right. So there you go. Get you another. If you do gain one victory Oish. point. Stop the victory points. All right. So. All right. So I'm going to explore. So it lets me draw a card. Plus, what's ironic is the card I drew is the card I was going to play anyway. So I'm going to play this, which Alien Technology. Uh, spend. One, oops, hang on, I can't do that yet. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Nope, I can't do that. That was a that was a waste. Can I undo that? Okay. I'm going to undo that. All right. So take off the explore. Por favor, gracias mi amor por letting me undo that. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna, I don't know what I want to do right now. I'm gonna go ahead and sail just the way I can be the first one on the map. I'm gonna sail. Okay. I don't have any species, so I can't do anything there. Can I harvest again? Yeah. Yeah, you can harvest twice. I'm going to harvest. Ay, que bola. Well, piedras, por favor. One. Oh, it's wrong. Sorry. Alright. Um, so I'm going to I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna harvest to get three rocks. And that gives me my three rocks. And Oh, dang, I don't have any. Oh, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. All right. I forgot I have this island down here that I can sw I can swap resources. Always forget that I have that. Okay, and I'm going to build this one. Rat dial. All right. So I'm going to spend a stone to get and Oh, I forgot to play a card earlier. I, I did harvest and I should have played I wanted to play that. So when I did my harvest, I should have gotten this and this. Um which means me spinning that stone. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get another yeah, I'm gonna get another apple. Okay. And that was this one, that island. Yeah. So now I'm going to do. Hmm. Spend one rock to gain one victory point, and if possible, simultaneously move two meeples to two different cards without an assigned one. It has mm. to be two. Wait, did it say it says up to or? No, move to. Yeah, so I think you have to do both if you if you do that action. Yeah, and yeah, it says and if possible. But if it's not possible. 
Well, it is possible, right? If possible, simultaneously move two workers to two different cards without an assign. Yeah, I mean, you've got two different cards. You've, you've got multiple cards that you can move them to. So it is possible. So, it is possible. so you would have to do both if you use that option. So if you don't want to move this meeple off of here, then I wouldn't do the action. Now again, during the lookout phase, you are going to be able to put them back if you wanted to. Mm. Okay, so uh, how does we don't assign a meeple? One, not two charges. Well, even if you can't use that action, you can still build it if you wanted to. Same as the other one, you can still build it if you're not going to use the action. Just so you get the points. Okay. Alright. Um, I'm going to spend a gold to gain two gold. Not eat. Okay, so that was my action. So I spent, I did that one. Back to you. Mm. Where'd your other card go? Oh, so way up there. <laughs> okay, what's up in your build that? And two sheep or one. Well, but you can't get more wood. Well, you can because you have your trees, but so nah, it really doesn't matter. The sheep are cheaper because you can do that automatically. All right, um, I'm going to spend a rock. To, to do my explore on my card, because it's on my card, uh, and then I get to play on explore, and I get to, dang it, I did it wrong again. I don't want to do that. I want to watch that. Alright, I want to harvest, I'm going to spend an apple to harvest. I keep forgetting to look at my resources. So, everybody's harvesting? Yeah, uh, mine should be upside down now. Uh, and I'm going to harvest my sheep. All right, now it's your turn. Are you going to use your um, tomates or do you have actions? I think I'm going to, yeah. Um, I was the one that gave me my points. Um, if I did something, for, for each something I did, I would receive victory points. Oh, uh, it was spin the fish. It was the fishies. Spell and fish to gain one victory point for each pumpkin with an assigned meeple. There it is, yep. To so spend one fish to gain one, one victory point for each and at least one soil assigned. If a meeple is assigned, draw one card and keep it or attach. Okay, so yeah, so you only have one meeple with soil, so you get one victory point, but now you get to draw a card and you can either keep the card or attach it as soil you get one victory point right so the the say you get to look at it i don't know if a worker's assign which it is draw one card and keep it that's kind of that kind of seems like if if a worker's assigned a worker oh no if a worker's assigned to this there isn't a worker assigned to this sorry that's if it's assigned to this one i didn't notice there was a worker up there okay Okay, now <laughs> I'm going to spin my rock to explore, and then I'm going to play the card that I've been trying to play, because now I've got my resources. I got this, and I got this, and I get me clan token. Oish! That was way too painful for what it, what it actually, what I actually just did there. Alright, so your turn. I'm going to sell. Alright. So, sale. Are you going to go near? Are you going to go far? Or do you want to take I'm over going... one of them? So, now you have to look at both. You got to look at your resources you can gain or if these are better. This one seems good. It's got a bunch of card symbols. During the expedition phase, if you draw an island card, you may draw two cards. 
choose one and discard the other and discard the others. What part is the expedition phase? Doing um, expedition phase. That is oh, when we're doing this right now. If you draw an island card, you may choose two, choose one, and discard the other. Uh, choose an island unit, and just not as much. Remaining goods in the island empire. Return the ship to your supply, discard the remaining goods on the ship. Um, I'm really confused how that works because during the expedition phase, you don't draw an island card. Or maybe maybe we have been doing that wrong. Maybe you are supposed to replace them as as somebody claims them. The book, the instructions don't say to do that, which is kind of weird that we've been playing that incorrectly the whole time. So, one after another, choose a first ticket in the arrow. Uh, player with just a ship expedition board and arrange a fish face up nearby or draw from the top of the nearby. Be able to oh draw. So if you decide to draw instead of ah, that. Ah, that's surpresa, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so if you do the surpresa. So if you draw an island card, you get to draw two, choose one, and discard the... Okay, so it gives you a better chance. So that would be a benefit, because this would always be available to you. You get to draw two cards and choose which one you want to keep. Um, this one here, you spend a rock to construct. So basically, you get, a, you get to do a construct action for a rock. Um... So it gives you extra construct actions. Uh, Pluto's doorstep. Uh, spin one rock to retrieve one meeple, which is not good for you. Spin one meeple to gain a tamate. That one's not as bad. I think I'm going with uh, this one. This one? All right. So you so need to put a fish and an axe. All right. So I'm going to spend a worker so I can assign a resource to this one down here so I don't lose it. Okay. Uh, back to you. I'm going to use your apple to do your other one. To do my... what? Oh, to... Yeah. I'm going to populate. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, no. I can't, right? Mm -hmm. I can't populate. Uh, no, you're too far away to populate. You can construct for sale again. You can always sail again. I mean, it doesn't hurt. You get up there and you get more resources. Let's get your other boat out there. Alright, so... I am going to... I'm going to put my, my new token on sale, and I can't go very far. Okay. No moss. No actions. And what's this one? You spend... One meeple and one sheep. You get to draw two cards and attach them. Oh, so it increases your... your uh, but this, but I want to use this. See. No, no, no. This is to attach. You draw two cards and you attach them, so you're going to make them bigger. So if you spin that worker and that sheep, you get to put two more cards underneath any two of your plantations or harvest areas or lands. I don't know what they're called. Your thingamajiggies. Oh, no, I don't want your meat today. All right, so you draw two cards and then you just put them underneath wherever you want them. All right, and then I'm going to spend the after day to uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to spend that to sale again. Oh. All right, so back to you. I just did this. Yeah, you just did that one. Mm -hmm. I can't. Cast on my shoulder. 
Lay your hand on my shoulder. So spend. Spend one wood to sail or spend one nipple to harvest without an assigned nipple. So you basically could get an extra sail if you wanted to come up here and sail some more. But I don't have more ships. You use the community ships. So, because here's the thing, you do have a fish, so I can't harvest either of these. You're going to take one, so really it means you get to harvest the other if you wanted to sail. Which would get you your wood back, because you would get spin one wood to get three. So you'd really get two if more wood back. If you don't get that I, one. I can't. I don't have any fish. I have no fish. Ah, uh, so you have to do that. Yeah, so you do that. Yeah. And the community ship. And put the fishing on it. All right. Um, and I'm going to spin a worker to harvest. Right, uh, and I'm going to harvest. Uh, I'm going to harvest my rocks, I think, because that gives me the most, and I can always trade one later. Right, uh, I did a harvest action, so I get to play this instant. Uh, gain one fish or one star for every boat on the expedition board. So I have all three of my boats, so I get three victory points. One, two, three. I had to, to do that to try to stay back up. That's why I kept making sure I got out there to, to fish. All right, so back to you. Oh, I did I did something out of turn. Dang it. That's fine. We'll do it I next can't time. do anything. I already used all, all my... Right. Okay. So pass. You think? Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to assign my worker to gain an axe. Get rid of that one. Um, I want to do that now. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Uh, spin resources of the same type to get three victory points. One. Oh, I finally passed you. First time this whole game, I finally passed you. All right. And I can't play any of these right now. So that's okay. So I'm going to pass. And now we go to um, expedition phase. Um, yeah, I'll do the, I'll do the first one, first one, the second one. Um, I think I'll do the two fish, because I, I don't get fish at all. So I'm going to do the two fish and the victory point. All right. Oops. We gotta move off to the side because we went off the board. All right. So which one were you gonna? Which you were gonna conquer this one? Yeah. All right. So you get that as part of your village, and you get two coins for building it. All right. So you you gave me one silver. All right. They're all the ones that are washed, so I'm, we're just counting them as ones. Um. So you get to go again. So now remember you have this. So your choice is: Do you want a sheep that and one? a fish, or would you like to draw two cards and decide which one you like better? I would like to get five. But then I have to choose only from these two. From those two, yep. So it's it's risk and reward, right? Risk is that you still don't know what it is. Reward is you've got at least two cards to, to choose, choose which from, which yeah. yeah resources you want. Mm, while, we're, don't while, have we're this, while we're in this phase. We I can... don't have any. Can I do both? <laughs> no. Oh. Solo. Only uno. Solo uno. So I'm going to do... Hmm? Um, I'm going to do... The... This one. This is one you no, want? This one. This no, this one. No. So you one. want two wood and... One. A... One victory point. So two wood and the boat. And one victory point. All right, so back to me. Uh, I can do Saprisa or I can do that one. I'm going to do that one. So I get one, one, and the victory point. And I have to do Saprisa anyways. <laughs> uh, which gets me two apples. Tomates. Tomates and the victory point. All right. And then you can go far. So you, you wanted three sticks, right? Or do you want to play? You want to play? You want to play your feature? 
Yes. Alright. Uh, it's, it's not very it's different. Not, it's not a... It's not too different. This is too oh, much too yeah. tomato. Okay, so you get sticks, one stone, sticks and stones, break your bones, names will never hurt me. Okay, so clean up. Workers, get off the field. It's time for you to get to work. All right, and there was the community ship back. All right. What if we can actually go through all the islands? We've sailed much more this game than I think we've ever sailed before. Mm -hmm. Like, normally I don't think we sail that much. All right, so you are first player now. Oh, oh yeah, we got to draw. So you're still five. I only get four. And then, um, well, that's free, so you definitely do that. That's free, you definitely get that. Um, I think I'll, I'm going to keep all four. I think I'm going to keep all four. That was probably a bad decision, but we'll, we'll find out in a minute. Because <laughs> I only have one meat today. Oh, but I got my extra token over there now. I can actually populate again. Mm. Oh, you want them all? Uh, you can have them all. Well, you don't have enough meat plays. You only have three. Four. The ninja counts. Oh, the ninja. He keeps hiding. <laughs> the ninja is very sneaky. Underestimate me sneakiness. Oh. oh. Well, I leave my two cards down over here. I forgot about so this. I think the four of them. And I'm going to attach blue dots. Oh, that's right. That was a, this is a good one. This lets me use my boosts. I'm going to use it to gain the axe, but that's not really worth it. Okay, so it is you. Uh, did you want to move your workers, or no? Your workers are good. No, I think they're I think they're where you want, right? Yeah, they're okay. Don't forget your card. Oh no, oh, you forgot no. to ready one of your cards. Oh, you I forgot to ready to. both of your cards. I uh, I cheated. Oh no, yeah, yeah, is... yeah. Because you you draw five cards, and you can only keep four because you only had four. Four meeples. meeples. You only have four cards in your hand. Yeah, so you. So... No, you're good. No, tw turn your city card around. Down at the bottom. There you go. Yeah, you use that. Okay. Okay, so I. Said, you go. Yeah, you go first. Boss. Boss. Okay, I spent. Una madera. Okay. I'm going to construct. Uh, and when I construct, I can play this, which is assign one resource from the general supply to the card you constructed. Additionally, gain one axe. This that says build one for free. Is it that one? Yeah, that one. So I basically built this one for free. I didn't have to spend the uh, one rock to build that one. Okay. Back to you. Mm. I am going to explore. Okay, and so you play get to this. well. All right, we'll get to draw a card first. You'll just shuffle your deck. All right, you play your explore card. During this explore, draw three cards. All right, so shuffle, <laughs> yeah, so shuffle your. Keep one and attach the rest to the different. So I, I already so you, drew one. You drew one, yep. Oops. No, just, just, just it, it doesn't matter. I don't think the shuffling really matters right here. That's fine. 
It's not like you knew the other two cards are going to be good. Plus, you got to put them underneath of the cards. Didn't it say that, right? Keep one and put the other two underneath of your... your... Yes, two different... All right, draw, you got to draw two more then. Where's the one that you, drew, you just drew? It was that one, right? I think you just put it right there in the front. Well, put your... Put your... Put... Put... Oh, it was this one? But this is my fourth one. This is what I am playing. That's the one you're playing, correct. So, the front one. Take the front one. Put the other two down. Go side. There you go. That's the first one you drew. So, draw two more. And then you get to keep one, right? And then put two underneath. Additionally, you may move a worker. Okay. So what am I doing now? You keep, this? keep one, oh. put the two underneath of your okay. harvest. Keep one. Two. Does it say two different? Yeah, it says two different. Yeah. Alright. And then now you can pick your other two cards up. I just didn't want you to get them mixed up. I know, I, I'm good at that. Okay. Um, all right, so this is free to build, so I'm going to build this for free. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Um, oh, that's because, yeah, like I said, because I, I read my cards and kind of know which one I want to play next. Now i got to stop. I think I'm not playing cards now. I'm going to build this one. Hold on. All right. Um, I am going to all right so I'm going to do my my gold thing here so I'll do my gold thing so I pay one gold to get two gold mm. yeah. So I am going to construct. So build one for free. I have never done that. Yeah, just put it down on the book. Just you just built it. You didn't have. You don't have to spend the resources to build that. It's free. There you go. And I can play these. Okay, which is discard up to three soil. Okay. To is gain it, one star for. Each. Is it any soil? Up to three, yeah. Three of the same, okay. Yeah. So either three, three wood or three fruit. Two wood. Hang on, there's a thing that says if you have a, oh, additionally you additionally may move. you oh. may move one meter. Well, you should probably put that one back. Your best bet is to get rid of all the, these were all the same, weren't they? Yeah, it would have been better just get rid of all three there because then when you harvest that, you're gonna get more on that one than this one. You should just get rid of all of them on the same one because you don't have a you but, don't have a work you don't have a worker there. Oh, see, see, see. I thought it was. No, it's not one for me. It's yeah. just three. Yeah, because that gets you three three so victory this points. Card. Three. All right. Uh, I'm going to sail. Um, and do I want to take over an island? Spin one, maple to gain one. I already have that ability. Uh, action, spin one resource to gain two of that resource. Oh, I do like that. All right. Actually, no, I'm going to live dangerously. I'm going to go, I'm going to go island surfing. I'm going to go island surfing. Treasure island is where I'm going. All right, back to you. No, what, what the, that was that one, though? Yes. I don't have anything. Mm. Um, I'm going to spend to the fish. Spend to move somebody. Okay, and I'm going to populate. Two. Gives me one. One point and a. Another. And I may assign. And I, may, and I may assign one spent 
Mm -hmm. So basically, it's which one of those has if you're if you have a meeple that you get. This one. If one meeple is assigned, gain one bit one victory point. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to sail again. Did that next one? Oh. Yep. All right, back to you. Mm. I'm going to. Harvest. Alright, what are you harvesting? This one. Alright, so you get two sheep. Two sheep, three wood, one fruit. Two sheep, and then you have to get rid of your trees. Three wood, and what was that one? One, one fruit? tomate. One tomate. Alright, there we go. Okay, so we're going to. What am I going to do? What was that? What, I was trying to do something. Oh, um. I'm going to I'm going to harvest. I'm gonna spend an apple to harvest. It, it doesn't matter the red one or the white one. And I get three rocks for that. I'm going to spend the maple and the rock to gain an axe. Sorry. Max. Um, I'm going to trade a rock for a stick. Thank you. I'm going to spend a maple. And the sheep to draw two cards and attach them to two different things. Can I attach as many as I want to this one? No, to two different ones. No, I mean one where more did, here. Where did the meeple go that was here? You can't do that. I think you accidentally knocked your meeple off. Yeah, you didn't have that. What, did you just give me a sheep? Yeah. Yeah, you, you you knocked that meeple off when you were so when you were taking. So I didn't have any meeple. No, you didn't have a you didn't have a meeple. Yeah, so go ahead and put so, those two cards back. But you have to put those two cards back because you can't do that action. Oh, did, are you turning your cards for the actions that you're completing? Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Wait, but this one you spent a meeple and a rock to gain an axe is that one fine that one we already did yes because you did have one meeple you didn't have two meeples so turn that one sideways there you go okay so you can spend your stick what's the stick do spend a stick to sail. sail all right so you can sail uh do you want to conquer one of those with your axe or no so this one, spend one to gain two. This one here, spend one to retrieve two. Why, but I don't have fish to do that. Oh, yes, you know. You don't have one. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah. that's what you're doing. All right. Um, I'm going to spend a resource. I'm going to spend a rock. To unexhaust a card that does not have a assigned uh, resource, which my islands can never have assigned resources. Ha ha! Pixie. I don't do anything. I don't have resources that I need to spend. Um, and, yeah, and you've already and you've already done both your things. Yep. Okay. So I'm gonna build this for free. Uh, I'm going to spend my worker to assign a resource. Um, 
I'm going to uh, assign one resource. I'm going to do this, spend a gold to get two gold. I'm going to Oh, it's really the same resource. Can't do that, can't do that. I have up there. I want to harvest. I'm going to spin this to harvest. And I'm going to harvest my rocks. And because I harvest, I get to play this, which is I gain uh, one fish or one victory point for each ship. So I have two ships out there. You're hiding in. Um, and then I want to spend a rock to explore. Allows me to draw a card. And then I can play this. On, oh, no, you don't have to move me. This is, this is a free action. Uh, which I can play either one of these now, so I'm going to play that, uh, which is uh, instantly spend a, I don't have a stick, so instantly spend a, a stick and a sheep to gain three um, victory points. I was going to give you the three points. <laughs> oh, you're so um, nice. And I'm going to spend a rock to explore now i move you and then nope and then i'm going what? to do this again which is spend i have to spend two coins which is only worth two points but for my sheep and my stick to gain three more one two three um, can I do anything else? Spend, I can't do that. Assign one resource. I don't need to do that. Spend three of the same thing. I don't have three of the same thing. Uh, do I have anything that lets me sail? Here. Yeah. Mm. And I'm going to build this this turn. Alright, so I pass. Now we go to the sailing phase. I am going to go to Treasure Island. I get to construct, construct, and gain one gold. Well, I can only construct one thing. But I do gain one gold. That is out of the game. That was not the one I wanted. And you would have gotten that earlier, remember? At the very beginning, I was like, oh, I was like, the worst could happen, you get construct, and you have no cards to construct. Well, that would have no, no. that would have been bad. So you, you did good. Uh, and then I'm going to conquer. Um, so if I conquer, I think it was this one, right? Spend one resource to gain two of that resource. Yeah. So I'm going to do that one. Conquer, and I get a rock and a tomate. This. And then you can conquer. You're going Reindeer Island. All right. Reindeer Island. And what do you get as your build bonus? Tomate, tomate. Boom. No, two rocks. Oh, two rocks. Two rocks. All right. First player goes back over to me. Cleanup phase. Everything turns around. Turn everything over. All of our cards around. Um, unfortunately, it is part of the cleanup phase, which means that was really stupid of me to even build this. So that construct construct is is actually very bad for my deck. Now I think about it, because this is going to go away during the cleanup. So it, it mm. I shouldn't have built it at all. I really don't need that card, but that was a bad play because I'm guaranteed to lose uh, that card. Um, New Islands, uh, take our clan markers. And there, and there. All right, so this should be the final turn because 
if I don't get enough points, then I'm doing something wrong. All right, so I get my four cards. You draw your five. All right, so you basically want to do everything you can just for, for points. points. Yeah, whatever gives you any points. At this, at this point. <laughs> at, point at this points. point, you want points. So expensive to build. All the cards I got are expensive to build, and this is free, so that's fine. I'm gonna try for both of these, but I don't think I'm gonna get it. This this is gonna take some planning to get these last two cards out to get the extra points. Um, do we move the token during the cleanup? No. No, okay. So you go first. Okay, I am... Um, I... I'm going to take this one. Um, okay, this is free to build. Now the, now the question is, do the points happen before or after cleanup? Hmm. Because of in-game, in-game continues to reach 25 on the scoreboard and during the action phase. Once this happens, the final round is triggered and then end at the end of the current round. Um, to calculate the final score, it says final round, so therefore the round goes all the way to the cleanup phase, right? That's considered a round. Dang it, it is. I was trying to see whether or not I needed to actually put my sustains on them. Because I'm like, well, if the cleanup phase doesn't happen, then wouldn't need to do it. But cleanup phase still happens. Yeah. Yep, yep, okay. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to actually sustain my buildings. Alright, did you play? No? Okay. I did. Yeah, I built. Alright. Uh, I'm going to spend one to assign a resource. I'm going to. Well, let's try to do it. All right. Um, I'm going to sail. Let me put my X on it. I'm going to. I'm going to construct. What are you going to construct? Um, it says discard up to three of these be either oh, fruit or soil yeah. I mean and gain one victory point for, for each so I will discard the the ones. How many did you use? Two? Yeah. Two. I caught my finger. There you go. Um, I'm going to. Alright, so I'm going to build this with that and that. Oops, I put that into backwards. And here it comes from. So I built, so back to you. I'm going to harvest. 
Uh, now you want points, and it is. Is it three of a kind or two of a kind? I was. Three. I think, is it three of a kind? Where's the or point? Four? Ending? Uh, add one victory point for every two okay. resources remaining in their supply. Resources are kind of guards, do not count in the scoring. Alright, so it's two for every two resources. So it actually doesn't matter. They don't have to match. So No, we no, did that was another plus... game that was another game that they had to match. This one just says for every two resources. I forget what game it was. It was another game that they had Identical. to match. Identical. Yeah, I think in the Hall of the Mountain King I think they had to match. And I think it was three. And then I think it was one of the North Sea games they it was for every two matching ones. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to harvest um, fish. Because bank your luck. Well, because you can also turn fish into victory points, right? Yeah, because you have that. You have that card down there in the bottle. All right. Yep, and it says um, assign one spent to any pumpkin. Uh, all right. Uh, you probably want to look to see if any of your action bonuses down there give you victory points for having one assigned. Let's discard. For having, uh, for having one assigned. Yeah. But to... Uh, if assigned, um, you get to draw a card. Uh, if assigned, draw a card. By, by and... what? When? I, it says Be to assign it to a pumpkin. Oh, okay. It has to be a pumpkin. Okay. If you do gain one victory point. Oh, so you gain one victory point for assigning. Okay. Oh, so if you were full, you wouldn't be able to assign it, so you wouldn't get the victory point. Okay. All right, um, I'm going to sail again. All right, back to you. So, uh... <laughs> oh. oh, I messed up. I am playing as our clipper. Okay, so spend one of these to set. Hmm? Spend one wool to sail. Okay. Oh shoot, I can't sail. No, no, no. Say that's remember those don't deal with the action. That's you're doing oh. the action from down there. Okay. Yep. So did you want to go far to get more mm. resources or? Yes, I need maybe. Unless you want to go after Treasure Island, now that we know that the. Uh, and if I ask, construct if, construct is if I'm if I'm this assigned gain one victory point. Okay. I did something wrong earlier. All right, so I'm going to. I'm gonna spend this resource to get a sheep. I'm going to four. Right. Um, where's the thing I wanted to do? Where'd it go? That's why I traded in the sheep because I needed the sheep. Oh, here it is. So, spend one meeple and one sheep. Um, gain one victory point for each action tile with your clan action pawn on it. So, I have three. One, two, three. And then move all of my clan action pawns to a single action of your choice. Um, so, I'm going to move them. It really doesn't matter where I move them. It's not like I'm going to be able to do them anymore. Um, just, I guess just me. I don't have any apples to do anything with anyway. I'm going to spend this to gain one victory point. Alright. Um, I'm going to spend a gold to get two gold. I don't have any apples. Uh, you can still do another... You still have another apple, so you, you can still do a construct or a mm, yeah or sale or sale. 
So sail would get you at least maybe two resources. Well, although you have two fish, so again, you might be able to get one of the better ones because remember up there, what's left is harvest, harvest, which would be really good because you get lots of fish. Uh, populate, populate, which gives you one bit. workers. I don't think workers get as victory mm -hmm. points though. Uh, but you have explore, explore, which just lets you draw two cards. So that's not really good. So eh, no one would be good as if you got harvest, harvest. So that might not be good. There is still three. Yeah, so you can just sail. Oh, hang on. You didn't spend your apple yet, though. Or your tomate. Uh, Did you want to sail? Or, or construct? So, so construct. Con Spend one fish to gain one victory point for each pumpkin with an assigned meeple. One, two, three, and at least one soil. Ah, oh, just one. <laughs> just one. I, I don't know. No, I think I'm going to sail. Okay. Alright, um. I would say assign a resource, but I don't have a resource to assign. I don't have an apple to move my thing. Under rock. Oh, spend one resource to get. Oh, I messed up. I should have done that earlier. I forgot I had this one. It was kind of in a, in a different spot. I could have done that. It allows me to spend one resource I to get two resources. I'm not doing this. What was that? Each time you harvest and gain resources from at least one tree and one, gain one victory point. How many times have you done that? But it says from at least one for wood and one... Yeah, but I mean you cleared this one out through a harvest? You cleared that no, one from... this one had three and three. Well, no. It's, is it, hang on. I think it just says you need to have at least one of those. Oh, you need to have at least one wood and one tree to gain one. So that one I know did. One of the other times I remember giving you wood and I'm, I'm going to say you had three. I have tried. I have I'm combined say had, them. I'm going to say you had at least three. Because I two. always try to combine so you, them. I'm going to say you did that at least three times. At least. Mm. Okay. Uh, any other action you can take? I don't I don't think there's any action I can take. No, I can't. I, I kind of messed up my thing. Like, I, I was trying to get, like, a... I was trying to get where it would trigger one of the uh, abilities. And I don't have an apple, so I can't even protect this. Because I messed up earlier and didn't do this one. And I can't harvest, because in order to harvest, I need... Uh, I had one that said if I discarded a card, I could do something. I must not have played that. Or I must have discarded it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I have to pass. I can't do anything. Spend one fish to gain one victory point for each harvest with an assigned meeple and at least one soil. So I gain one. Yeah, so you get one that is tied. Anything else you can do? Mm. Uh, most of them are spinda worker, aren't they? We don't populate enough, I think, is a problem. Alright. Well, it says discard... Spend one fish and discard up to three soils from one pumpkin to gain one victory point for each discarded. So okay, so spend a fish to discard one to get one. Any more? No. Okay. That it? Yeah. Alright, so we go to sailing phase. Uh, so I get to conquer an island. It really doesn't matter which island I conquer. Because it's not going to be any good. I'm just going to give me an island. It's going to happen. Yeah. I'm okay. So an axe doesn't count as a resource. Axe does not count as a resource. Mm -hmm. Axe is not a resource. So. Um, and because Axe is in a resource, I'm just going to go ahead and risk it and do the surprise, which is a sheep. Pillage. I didn't get that one that I had last time. I had one last time where it was like every time I pillaged, I got a victory point. Oh, and I think that was the first game we played. 
I don't think it was this one. Yeah, we did a bad job of populating. I, I stayed with the five I started with. I never got any more. All right, so you're going to go long. So uh, both of them give you three resources, so in the end it's the, it, it's the yeah, same. Yeah, if it doesn't matter which No, it's just every two resources. So three. And do you want to get this, or did you want to do the surprise? Oh, well, actually, if you do, oh no, that's right. If you do surprise, you get to you get to decide which one you want. So you might get mm, one of those might actually be better. But, oh yeah, I forgot to do your from our pillage. I forgot to do our victory points. Those. You get to, yes. yeah, I and mean, then you pick which one has better. <gasps> so that one's better because you get two items. See, but this one has two victory points. No, is it? Oh is this... yeah, so the one gets you well. So this <laughs> would get you one. This would get you two victory points. Oh no, you're not rating. I'm sorry. This one will get you two victory points. They both get you two victory points. I was looking at the wrong thing. I took the wrong one. Oh no. What did I do? Does this count or something? What did I do? Okay. For for my pillage, what did I take? I took one fish. I should have taken two rocks. I was looking at the conquest thing because uh. I because con I conquested the first time, right? Um, yeah, because even when you went long, I gave you the right thing. I gave you two rocks and a sheep. So which one did you do? You go on this one. So just straight two victory points. Okay. Uh, that is that. So clean up. Right there. There. Um, unfortunately, that means I lose this building because it did not have a sustain on it. Okay, so four points. Point, point, points. This is what we came for. All the points. All right. One victory point for each card within the Empire to their current score, including basic field, field upgrades, and conquered islands. Okay, and then one point for every two resources. I get one because I don't have duplicates. Is it duplicates? D just to, I don't, I mean, it doesn't matter. Every two resources. Four. Okay, so, how many goes? One, two, three, four. Alright, and then one point for every gold, so I get four. Gold. Four, and get two. Alright. Uh, that's it. So, the player with the most victory points wins. So, Anthony is the winner. Yeah, I did something terribly wrong somewhere during this entire thing. Did I do right? You did right. You won. Your victory points. You had, you had, you actually got back ahead because you had more things built. I would have, well, even if I would have, I only had, I had two buildings, remember, that I had, to, that ended up getting discarded. So you still would have beat me even if I wouldn't have discarded those two buildings. Yay! Yay, you! All right, guys, so that was a very long play because this game is supposed to be a 45-minute game. Um, we took an hour and 45 minutes. So if you've made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. Because um, I like it. I know we like it. It's fun. But for some odd reason, it takes us twice as long to play than it should take. And in a two-player game, I think it should go really quick. And it, it probably has to do with the fact that we are new, right? So we don't know all the mechanics. These are the harder decks. I mean, these are eights and nines here. Uh, so they are the harder decks. Um, I do think we spend, I think we spend too much time thinking, right? Instead of just like play a card, play a card. But like, I, if you don't think, how do you know the proper, like, like yeah. which card to play before which card to get certain things to, to happen? Like, remember I kept messing up? 
because I kept not doing the action that I needed to even play the card. So, I don't know guys, if you saw us do something wrong or, or have suggestions of how we can maybe play this a little bit quicker, uh, let us know down in the comments. Uh, we do have the other expansion, so again, if you'd like to see us play one of the other factions, one of the other empires in the game, let us know as well down in the comments. Uh, make sure you do that YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, bell notification, Share all that YouTube comments. stuff. Share in comments. Until next time, guys. Adios. Peace.